downtown Detroit and uh, we have some clouds outside right now, but we're on track for a very nice warm up. Let's get back to seven first alert meteorologist Hallie Vogel to let us know what it's going to feel like summer. Yeah, it sure is the unofficial start of summer this weekend. It's certainly going to feel like that, Keenan. The rise in temperatures, the humidity, and of course, the combination bringing the threat for maybe a few storms from time to time. Not a washout this weekend, which is great news, and it is certainly going to be warm. A few light showers out there right now. We have plenty of cloud cover across Metro Detroit as well, so we're going to see that today. It's going to keep our temperatures down a bit, but then heating up quickly this weekend, and we'll talk more about those storm chances for the holiday. Do want to get to some river updates. So the Huron River right now is seven feet and steady due to fall below flood stage by Wednesday morning. So it is going to take certainly some time. The good news is the rain today is light. It will not contribute to any more river flooding. River Raisin right now is nine and a half feet and steady, and that is due to fall below flood stage tomorrow morning. Good news there. Of course, the huge problem up in the Titabwasi River right now, the stage is just over 26 feet and slowly falling. So with that said, we're looking at it to fall below flood stage tonight. But of course, the flooding will certainly continue. And then we're looking at the Saginaw River, which is also falling slowly, but not below flood stage until Tuesday afternoon. So once again, we do have rain showers today, but not enough to contribute to any more flooding. Most of this light to maybe occasionally moderate rain is what we'll face as we go through the afternoon hours today. And there's that little batch sitting right over, at least near the downtown area at this point, just kind of driving off to the north and east toward Howell, so into Livingston County, Springfield to Pontiac, and also down toward Wolverine Lake. This is going to continue to make its journey to the north and east. One of the problems that we've been talking about, that persistent east wind, it does continue with a flood warning until 4 p.m. for Wayne and Macomb counties because of Lake St. Clair. We're going to switch that, at least change the wind direction as we go through the weekend, which is good news. 62 degrees downtown right now. Temperatures are rising to the north. 68 in Flint, also Lapeer, Port Sanilac, and Port Huron. You're seeing some of the warmest temperatures, so you're already nearing 7. It's a bit of a struggle with the rain coming down. If you are seeing a few showers, your temperatures will remain on the cooler side in the mid-60s. Hour by hour forecast takes us through a drier evening overnight into tomorrow. So tomorrow by far, I think the choice, at least the pick day of the holiday weekend, it is going to warm up certainly on Sunday. We look at Sunday's forecast, rain showers more likely in the morning, maybe drying out a bit for the afternoon, pop-up showers and storms with the heat and humidity come on Monday. We will certainly work on that timing as you spend your time outdoors this weekend. 67 for a high today will drop down into the 50s tonight, maybe areas of fog tomorrow morning. The takeaway from the forecast, it's big heat, it's big humidity, even near record highs for Sunday and Monday. It does stay with us through next week with that rainy pattern. Now the rainy pattern next week may contribute to some more flooding. We'll watch that closely for, of course, everyone.